Arvada Council Member Mark McGough is pedaling his way back to good health. Five weeks ago, he tripped and fell during one of his daily workouts and fractured his tibia. Get a good shot of that boot. He has to wear a boot for at least another month. Jim, how are you this morning? Good, how are you? It's good to see you. Good, thanks for having me. Okay, so I guess you want to talk a little bit about um, sports injuries. I do. Certified like athletic trainer Jim injury. Keller sees a lot of sports injuries. He used to work with the Denver Broncos before he opened his own practice. He's checking in on Mark to see how he's coping with his first serious injury. This has become my favorite workout tool since my injury. This is a 10 pound medicine ball. Mark can't do the boot camp style jumping exercises that he loves, so he's found ways to modify. Without putting extra pressure on the healing fracture, he can still get a full body workout and raise his heart rate. 149, I like it. That'll move it right up there. <laughs> he's doing a lot of things that are very smart and conducive to keeping his whole body strong, helping with balance, helping with core, helping with strength gains. For Mark, taking four months off was simply out of the question. Well, wouldn't it be true if I just stayed home and stayed on the couch, this kind of thing wouldn't happen? Well, yeah, but you could also, get, you could also hurt yourself getting up off of the couch. <laughs> Mark is 70 years old, but Jim Keller says sports injuries are becoming more common in all age groups. We have anywhere from four to five million children injured in sports annually. And when it comes to baby boomers, it's the second most common reason why they go to the doctor after the common cold. Mark is also nursing a shoulder sprain, so he needs to adjust his upper body workouts as well. For internal rotation, that's good, but again, you want that more at the height of your hip. So if you're gonna do any internal rotation component where you're here, you want the arm to be stabilized and you're basically bringing your hand towards your chest. Okay, so it's just an isolated movement for that cuff. So come back towards your tummy and back out. Good, look forward so that you're keeping your good body posture. Okay, so I'm getting just a, a short range of motion here. You're getting a short range of motion and you're basically focusing in on the rotator cuff. Injuries happen, and for someone as active as Mark, they can be devastating emotionally. Mark has simply found ways to cope. The stationary bike, for example, is a good substitute for the treadmill. A lot of people go through depression when they're not doing their normal activity. I can see that you've definitely kept your candor, kept your spirits up, kept your activity up, and that's enabling you to help override the psychological side of the injury. Pretty important to me to feel good every day, and uh, a good workout each day just makes it possible. It would take a lot more than a leg fracture to slow Mark Begoff down. Injury or not, he says exercise is still the most important part of his day. Okay, I'd like to thank Jim Keller for being with me this morning to talk about sports injuries and to give me some tips on my own workout. It's been a pleasure working with him today. I'll see you next time when it's time to get off the couch.